Hi, Bobcats. My name is Alexis. And I'm Juan. We are here today to talk to you about what it takes to be a successful student during distance learning at Beckman. As some of you may know, here at Beckman, we all are pledged to be these three things. Be safe. Be respectful. And be responsible. Today we are going to talk about how to be safe, respectful, and responsible during your live Zoom or Google Meet. Be safe. First thing, it is it is that it is important to never give out your class information to anyone other than your parents. We need to make sure that our, our live classes are safe. Next, when in class, it is important to always use kind words and kind faces. This makes everyone in the class feel safe and ready to learn. Also, it is important to only go on what side that your teacher tells you to go on. Lastly, you should always be on mute unless the teacher gives you permission to unmute. This will help everyone hear the teacher giving instructions. Be respectful. It is respectful to have your camera on during your live class. This way, the teacher can see you and your work. You should be sitting up properly and have a space for you to do your work. Use hand signals to get your teacher's attention, like raising your hand, using thumbs up or thumbs down, or using the restroom signal. Lastly, you should be paying attention to the teacher and working hard by answering or asking questions and completing your assignments. Be responsible. Being responsible means to always be on time for your class. Make sure your Chromebook is charged and you have all your materials if needed. Lastly, you should complete your assignments on time. Even though we are not in our classrooms, we are still in school. We want to be the best we can no matter where we are. Remember, Beckman Bobcats are always safe, respectful, and responsible. Until next time. Have a great day. Hi, happy Monday, Beckman Bobcats. Today is September 14th. Well, today is our first day of PBIS and Distance Learning Rockstars. Before I get to our winners, for the raffle this week who are distance learning rock stars. I wanted to talk to you guys a little, about, a little bit about what it means to be a distance learning rock star. We are working on our distance learning matrix, which is according to PBIS, we follow, we say our Beckman pledge, which is we are going to be safe, we are going to be responsible, and we are going to be respectful. But what does that look like when we're on distance learning? So let's take a look. When we are coming in, and that's gonna be our focus for this week, when we are entering our online class, to be safe, we are going to choose a quiet place, use our equipment as intended, and always use kind words and faces when we're on camera. To be respectful, we are going to put our video on so our teachers can see what we are doing or check in with them. We're going to keep our audio off when it's appropriate and use our chat with our classmates when we have permission from our teachers to be responsible. We're gonna be on time and ready to learn. We're gonna bring a charge device or make sure you have it plugged in and always have your materials ready. Okay, well the people I'm gonna read off this list must have been doing that for this last week and hopefully they continue for this week. So if you wanna get on this list, try to follow the things I just shared with you for the next week and the next week we'll go over what to do while our teacher's instructing. Our distance learning rock stars for this week are, in Ms. Lucas's class, Alexa, Ina, Rosie, Sophia, and Emily. In Ms. Brownell's, Anthony Diaz, David Ojeda, Diego Sagahun, Emma Ramirez, Has Hashim Khan, Haya Sadiq, Javier Garcia Torres, Liam Magania, Mateo Orozco, Sahib Preet Singh, and Zayla Monanez. In Ms. Ramsowers, we have Anthony Anderson, Nicholas Danner, and Juliana Correa. In Ms. De Herreras, we have Rochelle Camarina, Allison Dionisio, Anthony Hartness, Andrea Torres, Luis Valle Ortega, and Summer Vega. Great job, guys. In Ms. Lee's class, we have Liam, Michael, Leah, and Juan. And in Ms. Morelos, we have Cristeri Valdez Jimenez. Alejandro Rodriguez and Waylon Lopez. In Miss Glanville slash Miss Keegan's class, we had Kylie Ulrich, who was a distance learning rock star. And in Miss Friskorns, we had Ashley Sandine, 
Josiah Cedar Home and Nate Potts. In Mr. G's, we had Naomi Alvarado and Brian Barone. In Miss Carter's, we had Giovanni Rios, Lillian Berry, and Isaac Estrada. And in Miss Troutner's third grade class, we had London Watt, Christian Morella, Renata Santoyo, Isabella Santoyo, Jose Robles Barone, Leana Pointer, Manuel Magana, Jocelyn Garcia, and Braylon Barrows. And I just realized, I'm pretty sure that's her fourth grade class. And in her third grade class, we had Joshua Bravo, Isabella Diaz, Iman Khan, Daniel Serrano, Caden Sigmund, and Diego Vera. Great job, guys. In Miss Garcia's class, we had Christian Kubias, Abraham Zamora Penaflor, and Rihanna Alvarado. And in Miss Kaluuya's class, we had Julian Pruitt, Jada Bruner, Angel Cortez Calderon, and Alexis Hanif. In Miss Willis's class, we had Jose Manzanares, Serenity Hawkins, Omar Castro Suarez, and David Rodriguez, Mohamed Asif, and Oscar Nava for participation. And in Miss Bratcher's class, we had Rodolfo, Victoria, and Samira. Now, we raffled, and my winners for this week were in Miss Troutner's class, Leona Pointer, and in Miss Willis's class, Jose Manzanares. Great job, guys. If we missed your name and your teacher sent your email, we didn't quite get it, we will announce those names next week. All right, great job for you two, Leona and Jose. Come on up during one of the distribution days and get your prizes. And as always, have a great week and be good Beckman Bobcats. Thank you.